During our stay in Charleston, we wanted to try out at least one upscale boutique hotel, and we decided on the Vindu. Come along as we show you the room, the public areas with crazy artwork, and the rooftop bar. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. This is Khaki Shorts, where we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. The Vindu is an artsy boutique hotel located off of East Bay Street in the heart of Charleston's Historic District. We drove to Charleston from Atlanta, so we used the hotel's valet parking at $30 a night. The Vindu is actually in two different buildings across the street from each other. In the South Building, we checked in and got our keys. Yes, actual old-timey keys. Inside the building with the check-in desk, you'll find lots of artwork from local artists. Some of these are dazzling, others are just bizarre, but it's fun to walk around and check them all out. Inside this building is the hotel's restaurant called Revival, which we did not visit. We did get to see their rooftop bar called The Rooftop. Yeah, real head-scratcher where they came up with that name. During our trip, we usually ate lunch at nicer places and just had appetizers or snacks for dinner. One evening right before sunset, we popped up in the elevator for some drinks and a Greek snacking platter that was fresh and delicious. They have a second floor to this bar, which is standing room only with an even better view. The prices are not outrageous here, and it was pleasant with a bit of a breeze going and the wonderful view. Our room was actually in the building across the street. The building has tons of artwork on the walls too. They also have an artist in residence who has a workshop that is open for guests to peek in and see what he's working on. He wasn't there during our stay, but we got to see his studio. Our room was down a sloping hallway at the back of the building. Let's head inside and see what it looks like. All right, room is not huge. We're in room 154. There is a small writing desk with a chair, a couple of complimentary bottles of water, your ice bucket, TV on the wall, which is directly across from the bed. I'm gonna pan across the room here, kind of show you the whole thing. And everything is brick and old wood. Here's the bed, it's like an old sleigh bed. Pretty cool. You see up here, it's all the old brick. Definitely has a lot of character, that's for sure. The bed looks pretty nice. Comfy, lots of pillows. Got a remote, phone, a couple of nice lamps beside the bed. It's not a huge room. It's uh, pretty small. There's no closet, but there is a big vanity. Let's see what we got inside the vanity here. All right, so there is a Here has our two robes in it. I'm sure we'll be using those later. We have an iron, ironing board. There are two uh, fold out things to put your luggage on. Some nice racks, coat hangers, complimentary umbrella you can use in case it rains. And then upstairs, there is actually a safe. A digital safe, which I always like to see. And then looking back over toward the door. All right, let's head into the bathroom, which is almost as big as the room itself. <laughs> so, your regular towels, Kleenex, glasses, soap, and your toiletries down here. You know, decent sink. Uh, he does have a light-up makeup mirror. You need that. And your full-size mirror. Toilet is your normal toilet. The 
tub is the most interesting part of this. Uh, you can see it's kind of exposed, but it is actually a like a jacuzzi tub. So we're going to try that out later and see how that feels. It's not a huge tub. I mean, I'm almost six feet tall, so it would take a lot for it to be big for me. But it does have just a regular shower head, not an attachable, which is kind of a negative, but you know, you get what you get. Gave us plenty of towels, a couple more over here. I do like that when you turn the light on, the fan comes on as well, so you kind of pull out some of the moisture when you're taking a shower. Let's go back out and let you see. The, the floors are interesting. They are actually, looks like the original floors, and they've just kind of refinished them a little bit. This definitely has some character, and we have a window, which doesn't have the best view. I'm kind of looking at a parking lot, so. But, uh, just to let you know that we paid about $2.50 a night for this during the middle of the week, and that was to get the extra window. They have some that were cheaper, about $1.99 a night, but they didn't have a window. And there was another one that was economy without a window that was like 193 so I'm not sure what that little bump up was for the next one. So, But we paid extra for the window. And even though you don't have a great view, it does let in some extra light, uh, which is always good, and makes the room seem a little bit bigger. It is small, so if you need a lot of room, it's probably not the place for you. But if you're looking for some place that is a good, good location, then this probably is the place for you. All this place has an interesting vibe, we felt the room itself wasn't worth the price we paid for it. If you're in town, you can pop inside their lobby to check out the artwork, or go up to their rooftop bar. We much preferred Church Street Inn by the Charleston City Market as it was less expensive and had a much larger room. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon, as well as check out some of our other Charleston videos right now. What else you got going on? Doing laundry? That sure will last another day or two.